I got a lot of questions about how to run MT4, MetaTrader 4 on a Mac. A couple of things I want to show you here today how that works, how you can do it for your Mac, and how you can run these PC only platforms on your Mac. So let's just dive right in. Alright, so we got a few options to run MT4 on your Mac. The first one is the native MT4. Now, what that means is you can simply search on Google for MT4 for Mac or MT5 for Mac. Same thing, you'll get some results for that. You can download the MT5 or MT4 platform for your Mac. So I've got one over here that I found on XM, so it's a broker. Even if it's XM, you can still connect this to any broker, so you just have to download this one. I actually already have the MT5 here in version installed, so you can run this. It needs to be updated, cool. I think they stopped supporting it, so you might have an issue with this. Actually, you can do this, you'll notice that the interface is quite old, it's not the best thing ever. It's, it's decent, but it's, yeah. So you could basically trade there, right from this platform here on MT5 on your Mac. That's the first option, right, to be able to run MT5. Now, personally, this is a mess if you want to be able to add indicators. You won't be able to add all the indicators you want. So if you go here, you do open that folder. It's going to show up like this. It's kind of like a weird version of here, your MT5 folder within program files. Now, the biggest issue I have with this is that my indicators and my tools, my script, my algos are only coded for MT4. Now, the MT4 version also works quite well. You can just open it here. It's decent. Okay, it's not the best, but... It takes a while to load up for sure. Once that's open, then you're pretty much good to go. You've got your things here as normal. Not like in here, here to my account, but pretty much the same thing as usual. Again, this is like the old format, so it looks all right, but like it's not really kept updated or anything like that. So you gotta find out how to put your files in this for your indicators, which works okay. A lot of my viewers here on YouTube are not subscribed to the channel yet. I post videos like this here three to four times per week to keep you inspired, teach you the right skills, and also I interview some traders every single week. So you don't wanna miss that for sure. Make sure you click the subscribe button below. Click the bell to be notified of future videos. I'm not personally a fan of this. I would prefer the second method if I'm going to use MT4, MT5, which is with Parallel. Now, Parallel is a really cool tool that I think any Mac user should have if you're going to install some Windows app on your computer. How this works is simply a Windows interface within your Mac computer. So like they had before Bootcamp. Bootcamp doesn't work here with the M1 chip. Now, what this looks like is this is MT5 I have installed here for my manual trading. I use this to place trades myself, usually for cryptos, for different things like that. Uh, so that works quite well. Okay, everything is there, it's all good, it works well. But you'll notice if you try to open up MT4, here the Windows version within parallel, it's not gonna work. You'll see that uh, it doesn't start. You might try to open it a few times, it just won't load up. Because the chip in the Mac, the M1 or M1 Pro chip, cannot run MT4. Now I've done that many times before, when I had the older Mac, without the M1 or the M1 Pro chip, it will work perfectly well. But with this new chip, it doesn't work, you cannot load it up. So you're left with only using MT5 on Parallel in that case. A Parallel costs, I believe, like $100 or something, maybe a bit more than that. It's very cheap for what it does. And I definitely recommend it if you're gonna run some applications that are Windows only on your Mac. Now, what else we got here? We can run MT4 and MT5 natively. We can run MT5 on Parallel. But this leaves us with one key issue, which is the fact that if you wanna run Argos, that are open 24-7 or 24-5, every day, every hour of the day, all the time. Well, you could sure leave your computer open all the time, you could leave it on your desk open like this 24-5, but I think in this point you really need to have a VPS in that case. So what a VPS is, it's a virtual computer that runs all the time 24-5 or 24-7, whichever you prefer. And on that VPS you can put anything you want, you can put some platforms running there, some MT4, MT5, some people play games on this also. This is the one I use called IQ Web Hosting. They also have like website hosting and stuff, but I use their Forex VPS. And I used to have for a long time this plan, the $12 a month one, which is quite cheap for having a VPS like this. They also have one, this is the one I use now, at $24 a month, which is a bit more performant, it's kind of better. And what this does is you can basically just go on your computer here, you install the Microsoft Remote Desktop app that you can find on the App Store. It's gonna show you your computers you have here running. You just have to accept this, and you'll see it's gonna open your computer with the old, <laughs> old version of Windows, but still works fine. So this is what it looks like. You've got your MT4 running here. I've got a demo account over here. Uh, this one is a demo account where I test some things. I've got the live account running all the time with my algos on it. If you see these lines, it's because the algo is on here. The cool thing about this is that it's not on your computer, so even if you close your laptop, it's still gonna run no matter what until you close it down yourself. It might restart like once a week to do some updates or whatever it has to do. But for the most part, it's there pretty much all the time. You can do all the stuff you would do normally in MT4 or MT5. However, there's like a small lag with the mouse sometimes. 
So I would maybe prefer to not trade on this. I prefer to trade on either parallel, which is my favorite option. Or if you want to use like the native MT4, MT5, you can do that too. Now I'll leave links below for all these things I mentioned. So parallel, I'll leave links to the VPS, the MetaTrader 4 and 5 for your Mac. You can check this out. Leaving your thoughts below as always, I want to hear your comments. I know a lot of my viewers here are not subscribed to the channel. So if you want to be notified of future videos, click the subscribe button below. I publish videos like this three to four times per week. And I'll catch you back here in the next video pretty soon. Ciao.